Hey everyone, my name's Blakey. Welcome to the European Serato Studio in Hackney, East London. And today, I'm here to show you something very special. This is the brand new official Serato sticker lock vinyl. Now this is really useful for all of you DVS and turntable users who use Serato DJ Pro. I'm gonna take this out of the packaging, show you what's inside, and then I'm gonna set it up and show you why it's gonna be so useful for you and it's gonna improve your DJ sets. Let's do it. Okay, so here we have it. This is the official Serato sticker lock vinyl. Let's take a look. Now, these records are probably the clearest records I've ever seen. One side is blank, and one side is the official Serato noise map. It's also super light, gonna be perfect for beat juggling. Now, right here, we've got the stickers. Now we have round stickers and straight marker stickers. Now the adhesive side of these stickers is actually opposite to what it normally is. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to set up sticker lock with these records and you place this marker on the underside of the record. So let's do it. Now, historically DJs would either mark their record at 12 o'clock or at two o'clock pointing towards the needle. I've always stickered my records at 12 o'clock, so that's what I'm gonna to do today. So to set up sticker lock with your vinyl, you wanna to head to the settings screen inside Serato DJ Pro, and then you wanna to go to DJ preferences, and you wanna make sure that play from first cue point is ticked. Now let's head to CD vinyl, and under sticker lock, you want to tick the box that says enable sticker lock. Underneath where it says spin nearest, spin forwards and spin backwards, I will go into more detail about this shortly. Now let's head back to the main Serato screen and we're going to load a song into the deck and make sure that it's in relative mode. Now, when you move the record, the exact position where the first hot cue is, this is your zero position on the vinyl and this is where you need to mark it. So let's take the sheet of stickers. I'm gonna use the yellow sticker. And you just wanna mark exactly where that first hot cue is. So let's just mark that there. We will be removing this sticker shortly, but we need to mark it here so that we know where to put the long sticker on the underside. Now let's flip the record. And this is where you are gonna mark the record with one of these long stickers. I'm gonna go for yellow again. Then let's mark the record. It might take you a moment to get this right, but just be patient with it. Perfect. Now let's flip the record over and we can now take this marker off. So that's the right side done. Let's now do the left side. I'm going to load a song into the left deck Again, make sure it's on relative mode here. And then the exact place where that first hot cue is, that is your zero position. So I'm gonna use this little sticker again, just to mark that. And then let's flip the record and do the same. Turn the record over, let's take this sticker off. Okay, so now that we've stickered the records, let's test them out. So I'm gonna put the needle on the record here, and I'm gonna put this needle on two. And now when I load a song into the left deck, you will see that when the marker is at 12 o'clock, there's the first hot cue, and I'm gonna load a song into the right deck as well. Also, in the settings of Serato DJ Pro under the sticker lock tab, you can tell the software whether you want to spin forwards to get to the sticker lock position, spin backwards or spin nearest. So let's head to the settings screen inside Serato DJ Pro and here you have the option to spin nearest, spin forwards and spin backwards. Let's choose spin backwards. 
Now, when I load the song, you can see I need to spin the record backwards to get to the 12 o'clock position where the first hot cue is. Now, if I head back to the settings and select spin forwards, and I load the song in, you can now see that I need to spin the record forwards to get to that first hot cue. My personal preference is to have this set to spin nearest. This way, you will always have to move the record the least amount to get back to that hot cue. So that is how you set up your sticker lock vinyl to work with Serato DJ Pro. If you're a DVS user with Serato, I highly recommend you go and grab this. This is available now, go and check it out. My name is Blakey, this is the London Serato Studio. Thanks for watching, peace.